Hello? Elias, do you have a minute? Yeah, Dave, what's up? I just received a very interesting email. From who? Fuchsia. Really? Do you have any plans this weekend? Not anymore. Hey, Dave, is this what I think it is? Be here in 10 minutes and find out. This Sunday, there's going to be a memorial service to honor the miners who were killed at the Upper Big Branch disaster. Now, every major political figure in the state is going to be there, as well as the President and the Vice President of the United States. A short while ago, I received an email from the Fusion Center. People, please don't disappoint me. Someone tell me they know what the Fusion Center is. Stephanie? Um, the West Virginia Intelligence Fusion Center deals with all levels of law enforcement. In order to gather and assess intelligence looking for credible threats to national security. Indeed they do. Now, this is the email I got a little while ago from the deputy director. We already are aware of at least one high-profile group with a very divisive agenda that's going to show up, and the potential for many other groups to show up is high. Would any of your folks have time over the next few days to help us with open source research and gathering info? This is short notice, and if you have other projects going on, I understand. Guys, this is too short notice? No. I didn't think so. All right, I want to see Elias, Kyle, Stephanie, and Anissa right after this. Everybody else come back at 1700, and we'll do additional assignments. Now look, guys, I know this is exciting, and this is a great opportunity for our program, but let's be honest, this isn't our first rodeo. Let's treat this like any other assignment in the classroom, all right? I want to divide us into two teams on this one. Blue team, you're going to be looking for threats to the president. Red team, I want you guys looking for OPSEC vulnerabilities, anything that's been leaked or inadvertently posted to the internet. Everybody and their brother now has a camera on their cell phone. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody ends up filming the motorcade when it arrives, posting it to YouTube or Facebook. Next thing you know, it's gone viral. How are we to report information of significance to the Fusion Center? That's a good question. I've asked them and I'm waiting to hear back. We need a more efficient way of doing this. Central Clearinghouse. They can see everything we're doing. Make spotting patterns easier for sure. What about a wiki? We post info of significance and make it password protected. We'll have information on one spot. Smart. We'll go ahead, set it up, send me the URL, user ID, and a password, and I'll forward it to Fusion. Hey Elias, can you come look at this? What is it? It's some sort of form for flight enthusiasts, but check this out. I'm curious to see which is used tomorrow when both the President and Vice President arrive for the memorial service in Beckley, West Virginia. The VC-25 is a bit too heavy for Beckley, but they could come into Yeager, Charleston, but they'd have to travel 40 to 50 miles on the turnpike. I also wonder if FlightAware will list the flights, and if so, under what clandestine text? Yeah, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna alert Fusion as soon as possible. You post this to the wiki. Yeah, I already did. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Hello. What you got? Looks like a group's planning a counter-protest against some protesters we already know about. How'd you find it? Don't worry, I didn't have to trample on their First Amendment rights teach. They posted it as an announcement in a topics forum. Wookie that bad boy. I think I will. I want limited staff here by 0830. Then I want all hands on deck by 1230 because that's when the auditorium is going to open for the memorial service. Plan to be here till about 1530 or so. That's when Air Force One is going to take off and the president's going to leave West Virginia airspace. I'm going to send some of you home now so that you're in shape to handle a night shift. From here on out, I want two people awake and working around the clock. Have you guys gotten any sleep? Yeah, of course. No, I mean recently. Define sleep. Sleep is what you need to do if you're going to stay frosty and sharp. Go home. Go home and get some sleep. Oh. Uh, hey, 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 this isn't a request, okay? I need you guys at 100% tomorrow. Plenty of other people here tonight who can cover them. Now go, get out of here. Okay, everybody, it's time to bring your A-game. You know what's at stake here. This isn't just about your reputation. 
You are now a valued part of the Homeland Security for this assignment. So when you finish monitoring the Twitter feeds, I want you to write down on a piece of paper where you left off. So when the next shift comes in, they know where to begin. Now, I hate to get all 19th century on you, but I really think- I'm posting that he'd like to drive a truck through the protesters. That isn't nice. No, it is not. To all the families. I've got a couple of the red team members dedicated to monitoring all of the state television news reporter social networking sites. Within two minutes of the president's arrival, it was already on their Twitter feeds. You cannot believe how much compromising logistical stuff they're posting. Oh, I'm afraid I can. Blue team. A lot of chatter in state. Nothing critical as far as POTUS reveal. Nisa and I are going to go run the first lady again. Okay, sounds good. Approximately 1.15 a.m. Somebody from New Jersey tweeted this, quote, I'd like to kill Michelle Obama, unquote. To be quite honest, I think this guy's harmless. Apparently had a problem with that wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, but like the man said, it's not our job to judge. Plus, what if wardrobe was code for something else? Nice catch, Elias. All right, guys, Air Force One is wheels up. We're done. Good job. Let's go home. Yeah, Dave. Hey, I wanted to share with you an email I just got from Deputy Director of the Fusion Center. Listen to this. Dear O6ers, thank you for your help today. Because of your work, I was able to tell the Fed something they didn't already know about a threat to the President. Keep up the good work. Look forward to working with you all in the future. You should be proud. I know I am. I'll talk to you later, okay? Thanks, Dave. Have a good night.